Welcome back to the channel. I'm back. I'm back at the Fort Wine and Spirits here in Jackson, Tennessee. Now, I'm here for one specific reason. I heard that they got one of my favorite bottles, one of my favorite bottles in this store for the cheapest price that they ever seen here in Jackson, Tennessee. So let's go back into the store and let's see if we can find that particular bottle at a great price. Let's go. Uh, huh. Hey, by the way, by the way, look at the shirt. Look at the shirt. A little old fashioned. If you want to purchase one of these shirts and get on the little old fashioned crew, hit the link down below. Pick your color, pick your size. Let's go. A rattle a snap, a Chattanooga whiskey. Now we could definitely pick up this bottle and bun, but we did not come into the store for the bottle and bun. We have an old Dominic down here, which we didn't come into the store for the old Dominic, but I tell you what, we do have reservations to go to the distillery and we will be down there in September. I'm excited because I'm going to bring you with me. Hopefully I can do a live. I haven't done a live yet, but that is my goal. So we will see you next month, old Dominic. We have the old elk, which we don't have any old elk, but eventually we're going to dive into that. We do have the uncle nearest single burrow here. One of the first videos I ever made, um, it was a pretty decent pour, but I do, I do have the uncle nearest anniversary series and i'm excited to open that bottle very excited nelson brothers we don't have any nelson brothers but i heard it's a pretty decent pour but the bottle the bottle we came in here for today is going to be this one the jack daniels single barrel barrel proof at 51 dollars and it is 134 proof now, I think my bottle at home was 132 proof and I paid a little bit more than $51. So I'm excited about this one. Matter of fact, I think I am going to get two because this is a great bottle of whiskey. They do have Angel's Envy up here. They do have a Joseph Magnus, not the cigar blend, but I do have this bottle, haven't cracked it open yet, but I'm definitely uh, going to do that. We have the Burl products. The new Riff, the new Riff. Now, this is a great bottle. This is a great bottle of bourbon. Uh, sitting at 119 proof. I did pick up the Rye. I haven't opened this one yet, but I'm excited to do that. We have the wild turkey rare breed. We have the rye right next door to it, 59 and 58. We have the Russell's 10 year. Actually, this is becoming one of my favorite bottles because the first time I tasted it, I really didn't enjoy it. But guess what I did? I let it sit for a while and I revisit this bottle and now it's one of my go-to bottles. So I do suggest that if you didn't like it the first time, revisit that. We do have the Russell's six year rye. Going to the allocated section. They do have the Weller's, the big bottle of Weller's Special Reserve. They have a foolproof 1792. They do have a Knob Creek 10 here and a Knob Creek single barrel. They have the Wild Turkey Voyage. Now, I picked this one up about five months ago, six months ago, haven't really opened this one yet. Well, I haven't opened it yet because that is probably the most expensive bottle that I have on my shelf. And I'm excited to try that. Don't know when, but it's going to be soon. We do have the Woodford Reserve 121. We do have that one on the shelf. We have a Jack Daniels 10 back there. 
with the Jack Daniels 12. We have a Weller's Antique 107. We have a Larceny, which is going to be the batch number 524 sitting at 125 proof. And looky here in the back, we have a George T. Stag. Now this is sitting at 135 proof. I really, really, really want to pick this bottle up, but pretty sure it is out of my price range. We have a Elmer T. Lee back here, a 90 proof bottle. And we do have a Blanton's also back here. Now we are leaving the Fort Wine and Spears down here in Jackson, Tennessee, and I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do something that I started when I first made this YouTube channel. I'm going to see who makes the perfect old fashioned and I'm going to take you with me. So let's go out and let's see if we can find someone to make us an old fashioned. Let's go. Since I found a very, very good deal on that Jack Daniels single barrel, I decided to find someone to make me the perfect old fashioned. And since I've been here before, it's been a while, but I think they make a pretty decent old fashioned in here, but let's check it out. Let's go. Y'all do have a pretty decent selection. Y'all have a Blanton's Gold up there also. I, I was fortunate to pick one up last week. I haven't opened it yet. I'm, I'm excited to do that. Yeah, I see that. Ready to, to to fall in love with the old fashioned. I think that's the best drink on earth. Next to water. Next to water. <laughs> Next to the one that you can't live without. Yeah, you can't live without the water, so yeah. Speaking of, I'll grab y'all some waters. All right, thank you. And I'll get y'all a couple of minis too. Awesome, thank you. You know what you want to do for lunch? Wings, fries. Okay. I'm leaving bourbon and barley's here in Jackson, Tennessee, and I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at the way she made my old fashioned. You saw it. It was a pretty good old fashioned, and she used a premium cherries or orange slice, and she used Old Forester as the bourbon. The food was pretty good also. So if you ever around Jackson, Tennessee, stop by Bourbon and Barley's and pick you up a good old fashioned. If you want to purchase the t-shirt, all you have to do is click the link below. You can get it in your size. You can get it in your color. All you have to do is click the link below. Until then, I will see you on my next hunt. Let's go.